It's rich, it's rewarding. It's just me, the mountain, wind in my face. The mountain has energy that you don't really feel anywhere else. It's just one more way to open yourself up to people and to fun. The programs we offer include both skiing and snowboarding. In sit ski, visually impaired, the outriggers, which include both three and four track. And increasingly, we have more and more programs that are servicing our students with a cognitive disability and on the autism spectrum. It's neat to see where it's gone. I mean, when I started disability in sport, it was very, very segregated. The first uh, games I went to was called the handicapped games. <laughs> and uh, now it's 30 years later. It's, it's uh, just so neat to see everybody accepted for their uh, uh, different abilities. You know, allowing people to get outside in the fresh air and in the sunshine and just to have that experience of uh, gravity and adrenaline. And I came out of a brain injury uh, with a need to do something and uh, skiing was brought to me and it scared me at first. I hadn't done it in 25 years, but as soon as I got going, I couldn't stop. There's always that, uh, the unknown is, is, can always be scary, but that's with whether you're an able body or you have a disability. But just getting over that hurdle and proving to yourself that you can do something and learn something new is, uh, is definitely really good for, for um, mental health especially and just living life. For many people with a disability, there is a challenge with mobility and movement. And when you're on the snow, there is this sliding and, and it is a freedom experience like no other. I'm Courtney and I've been skiing with Vancouver Adaptive Snow Sports for about eight years now and I absolutely love it. And I just love coming out and enjoying being outside on the mountain. It's very rewarding, especially having been a parent and seeing, seeing the, the joy and the, and the afterglow effect on my daughter's face when she comes off a ski hill doing something that she never thought she'd ever get a chance to enjoy. See, they are lifting it because it's still on. They're lifting what? It's, it's great to see her having fun and uh, learning new skills and uh, she just loves to be able to, to interact with people and um, and ski with the other students and, and just that, that's I think the thing that drives her the most is just being able to feel a part of something bigger. So for me to be able to be a part of giving kids that normalcy or that excitement for skiing, it's, it's, it's awesome. We can go volunteer, teach a kid how to ski. It can be pouring rain. You could come back drenched, but you have this sense of having had an amazing day, right? Just having some, someone get that much closer to being an independent skier, uh, that kind of aha moment, that kind of seeing the parents being able to kind of walk away and have a couple hours off. Uh, yeah, it, you, you walk away thinking, okay, I, I, I did a little something. Volunteerism is the lifeblood of the organization. Uh, we have a lot of passionate and dedicated volunteers. They come with an energy year after year, season after season, that just endlessly provide opportunities and programs and lessons and special events that ultimately benefit us all. People come from different backgrounds. It's, it's just one more way to open yourself up to people and to fun. When we meet, we're, we're always talking about the programs, how we can grow them, different approaches to training. Lots of straps on the sit skis. What's the importance of this one? Pretty relaxed learning atmosphere. Everybody seems to you know, really take the time to explain things to you and nobody gets on your case if you not give a wrong answer, but if, you know, if you're going down the wrong path. It's the people who bring me back, and it's the skills that I've learned as a volunteer. So it's not just about the magic that our students experience, but it's, I, I get so much more than I give back. You know, the, the camaraderie and, and that I get and the mentorship that I get from, from the other instructors is phenomenal. You know, everybody is always, always so positive and eager to help. Because if you're falling down onto your shoulder and you have your arm out, Boom, there goes your rotator cuff, blow your shoulder out, season's done. The joy I get to feel when I see somebody accomplish skiing the beginner run and the, the glee that they finish the, the run with, that I, I finished. You've got a student that wants to learn and they want to come and play in the snow 
and we're just there to figure out the best way to make it possible. Whether they're standing or sitting or snowboarding or racing, there's a way to get everyone started in whatever they're interested in. What kind of runs do we hope we can do maybe by this year or next year? Caribou. That's a black run. You think you could do a black run? Yeah. yeah? We always have support. We have tons of growth. It's totally worth it. And what you get from the kids is more than you could possibly imagine. It is about skiing and snowboarding, but really it's so much bigger about than that. It's really about um, raising the vibrational level of our community, which makes the world a better place. Yay!